What is up, everybody? It is Chris from the Commander Crew coming out with a new series called Some Spoiled Seasons. Yeah, Commander Legends is coming out, and we know what that means. It's going to be tons of new commanders coming out. So let's get into those spoils and see what we got to brew. Welcome to the Commander Crew, a Magic the Gathering Commander YouTube channel where we ask the question, who's your commander? We want to thank you for watching our videos. You can help support us by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and hitting the bell notification icon. You can also go to thecommandercrew.com to check out our t-shirts, masks, pet hoodies, and other Commander Crew goodies. If you want to buy any of the cards seen in this video, be sure to click our TCG Player affiliate link in the show notes below. Lastly, you can help us out by heading to our official Patreon page and becoming a direct supporter of the channel. Now let's, now, go let's get to, to the video. video. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. On this Commander Quick Take, we're going to go over Kodama of the East Tree. It is a 6-6 six, six spirit for 4 green green, has reach, Whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under your control, if it wasn't put there under the battlefield with this ability, you may put a permanent card with equal or lesser value of converted mana cost from your hand onto the battlefield. And it has partner. Partner is, you can have two commanders if you both have partner. This is basically, in my opinion, the ultimate land ramp deck. You can jump into massive, massive permanents. Basically, every single permanent, not just non-token, not just non-land, it's every single permanent is going to trigger. And the best part about that, even lands are going to trigger. So you play a land, you get another land if it's in your hand. This makes ramp spells even better. So if you have things like Farseek, Rampant Growth, all that kind of stuff like that, even Kodama's Reach, you put one land on the battlefield, that converted mana cost is zero, it's equal or lesser value. You can put that other one on the battlefield. So one great thing we want to do with this deck is we want to put as many lands in our hand as possible because every time we have a land play, we're going to put another land onto the battlefield. Cards like Seek the Horizon, Nissus Triumph, and Rite of Springs basically puts as many lands in our hand as possible, so we've got to guarantee more and more land drops. And then once we have all those lands, what are we going to do with them? So some great payoffs will be Scoot Swarm, Ant Queen, and Field of the Dead. The Field of the Dead and the Ant Queens, they're all going to trigger. So the more tokens you make, the more triggers you're going to have. It's absolutely insane. You mix this up with a Conjurer's Closet, and guess what? You're going to have triggers going off like crazy. Kodama of the East Street is hands down the best Kodama out of the cycle that they've made so far. Definitely look into this card. Definitely consider who your partner is going to be because this is going to be a lot of work. Kodama of the East Street, definitely someone I'm going to build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification because we got plenty more of these videos to come. This was your Commander Quick Take.